Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you the top three best tips and tricks to get a bunch of boosts very fast in Pets and Litter X. This method will teach you how to get literally thousands of these boosts pretty quickly. Uh, as you can see, I have over a thousand super luckies, thousand triple damage, almost a thousand triple coins. I mean, I do have to work on my ultra lucky a little bit. Those are a little bit harder to get, but yeah. Surprisingly enough, this wasn't my own idea. It was actually suggested to me by this guy right here, Lahi Gaming. I think that's how you say your name. He asked, do you have a method to get a lot of triple coins boost since I'm currently low on them? I'm just going to jump straight into it. But before I do, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss an awesome video I upload like this one. Okay, now for tip number one. The first tip that you're going to want to do is claim your rank rewards. This is probably the smallest one. But in the long run, it is going to be very, very helpful when getting boosts. If you are the pet overlord rank like I am right over here, you will get, I think, 750,000 diamonds. Diamonds are not really important right now, but you get 750,000 diamonds and three of every boost, I believe. Or no, three of every boost except for triple damage and ultra lucky, I believe. I think that's what you get. These boosts are going to be very helpful when you're grinding for rainbow coins or hatching for some mythical pets. All right, this is also tied to tip number one, but as well as getting rank rewards, if you have the VIP game pass, you should also get your VIP gifts because they have a random chance at getting you some boosts. They get you a little bit more diamonds and they get you a little bit more boosts. So yeah, definitely. If you have the Robux, I'd recommend getting VIP because, you know, it gives you a cool chat tag. I'll just explain right there as you can see. Yep, you have that. Of course, it got censored. You get the VIP gifts and you also get an additional two Dark Matter slots. All right, now for the second tip. The second tip is to redeem your free gifts. I know, even more gifts. Boosts come out of gifts a lot. In fact, actually, every single method in this video or every single tip to get boosts involves gifts. So gifts are very important when getting boosts. In every single one of these gifts, there is a chance that it will give you a boost, especially when you get to the bottom ones or start getting to like the yellow presents and even the red ones and the crates. Those are when you start getting a lot more boosts. The boosts do auto equip, which is a little bit annoying in my opinion, but it is still boosts that you can use. So I do recommend it. All right, now for the third tip. And the third tip actually involves an AFK grinding method. And that is also why I have all of these Empyrean pets out. I have said this method before in a few videos, but I will say it again because this is a very cool method and it works very well. So first thing you're going to want to do, if you have max equip, or actually if you don't even have max equip, just whatever you have, it get like five golden Empyrean pets and then the rest normal just from the Empyrean eggs in the fantasy shop. Next, what you're going to do is go to the enchanting pet circle and basically just enchant all of them so they have the charm enchant on them or gifts enchant. What this will do is this will make loot bags more frequent. This process is extremely boring, so I don't blame you if you don't go through all of the pets, but I would say at least go through like, I don't know. I actually don't know how many, I would say like a quarter to half still works pretty good. Yeah, if you can do it on all of them. Now what we're gonna do is go to the haunted island and find the big chest over here. Get whatever auto clicker you have. I use OP Auto Clicker 3.0. You can just go look it up on Google search or whatever. And then just put your auto clicker to town and you can just AFK this method. Oh yeah, before I say anything, make sure you guys do not use boosts. I'm currently disobeying the rules right now. S especially stay away from triple damage because triple damage is going to hurt a lot. Oh, and as you can see, I just got some loot bags from that. So what this will do is basically when you're AFK grinding, if you're lucky enough to get a gift box out of the loot bags, then it will most likely give you a boost. Or actually it's a hundred percent chance to give you some sort of boost. So that is what you're looking for. You're going to want to look for the gift boxes. Or once you get to level 75 on Loot Bags Mastery, you will unlock mini gifts, which basically give you one boost, whereas the regular gift boxes give you two boosts. So yeah, basically that's what you're going to want to do with the big chest. Just to summarize all that up, one, don't use any boosts, triple coins, triple damage, anything. Two, you need an auto clicker if you want to AFK this. 
And three, if you get to level 75 on Lootbox Mastery, you will unlock mini gifts, which will make it easy. Well, anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope these methods help you, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.